I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and I'm here today to teach you how to make an easy, healthy veggie stir fry. So we're going to start off with our stir fry vegetables. I have four cups of vegetables here. Um, I'm using peas, baby carrots, broccoli, uh, and then I also have half of, a, of an onion sliced and a little bit of carrot for color. You can use whatever combination of stir fry vegetables suits your fancy. You can add in bell pepper, whatever you like, but um, I'm using four cups here. Um, and then for the sauce, we have six tablespoons of soy sauce, six tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, I have two heads of minced garlic, two teaspoons of fresh minced ginger, four teaspoons of cornstarch, and that's really gonna thicken up our sauce. Uh, and then I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. So I have a skillet behind me heating up right now with some oil. Uh, that's nice and hot, so we're gonna add in our vegetables and let that cook just a little bit um, before we add in the sauce. So let's head over to the stove and do that now. So now then put the vegetables in. I'm just gonna toss it a few times uh, and make sure that the oil coats all my veggies. And I'm gonna let it cook uh, for just a minute or two. Make sure your heat's not too high. I don't wanna brown the vegetables um, before I've had a chance to put in the soy sauce. I want it all to cook together. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce this heat. It's a little hot. It's on low heat, and so now I'm just gonna let it cook a bit while I prepare our, our sauce. So I'm just gonna use the same bowl um, that I was housing my vegetables in, and we're just gonna start adding everything into the bowl, whisk it together, and then we're gonna head on over and put it onto our vegetables. Um, so I'm gonna start with the six tablespoons of the soy sauce, six tablespoons of water. We have our rice vinegar, our garlic, ginger, fresh ginger. Nothing smells so amazing as fresh ginger. Our brown sugar. And as I introduce the brown sugar, I'm just gonna whisk it a little bit. And then the cornstarch, which is really gonna thicken it all up. And don't be afraid to get in there with your finger. Sometimes you'll make a mess when you're cooking, and that's how you know you're doing it right. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. It's that nice color. Let's go check on our vegetables and see how they're cooking. hint if you're using various vegetables, which you will most likely be doing in a stir fry, is to make sure that they're all cut um, to be about the same size so that they cook thoroughly. Another good guide for knowing that your vegetables are done are when your onions have become translucent. And right now they're still pretty opaque, so you want to give it a little bit longer. So my vegetables are cooking, they're getting, they're getting tender but not totally cooked through, so it's time to add the sauce in. I'm just gonna give it one more little whisk and then head over and pour it into the pan. So you'll just wanna give it a nice good stir um, and we are going to let it cook a little bit longer on higher heat so that um, our ginger and particularly our garlic has a chance to cook down a little bit and not be so pungent. Um, so we are going to turn up the heat and we're gonna let uh, the sauce come to like a nice, a nice simmer and simmer for a while and it will thicken um, and reduce a bit and really coat the vegetables wonderfully. And the vegetables are going to continue to cook now and really absorb all the yummy flavor. So 
So I know it's done because A, I can smell the garlic, I can smell the ginger, everything's starting to meld. Um, I've been stirring for about three to five minutes, everything's cooked down, and the sauce has really become this nice glaze. It's not completely evaporated, there's still some in the bottom, but it's much thicker, everything's coated. Um, I've tested my vegetables, they're tender, they're ready to eat, um, so now we're ready to serve. Let's just give it another nice toss, take it off the heat. Pour onto your plate. And because it's stir fry, it will be a little wet still. You still want there to be a little nice glaze that will pool at the bottom. That's perfectly fine. You don't want it to be totally reduced um, to nothing. And of course, this is a vegetarian stir fry. If you wanted, you could add in um, meat. Um, you could do chicken, you could do beef, you could even do fish, whatever you like. This is great served over rice or noodles or just on its own. And that's how you make healthy vegetarian stir fry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget, check out our other great cooking videos.